hi hello everyone welcome to option omega india's largest retail option traders online conference i'm ashok devanam priya the ceo of traders gurukul and also the host for today's program it's a great pleasure and honor to invite every one of you to the third edition of this beautiful options learning series before i kick off the presentation i would like to thank our media partner money control pro the largest financial portal in india with millions of daily readership on their website i would also like to appreciate our title sponsor espresso from the family of sher khan one of the leading stock brokers in india with millions of investors as their customers at last i would like to also like to appreciate our platform sponsor riggy a platform for creators influencers and celebrities to grow manage and monetize their community the speaker for today is mr shailendra singh rajawat he has a unique profile he has been a physics teacher ever since 2003 so the last 20 years he has been extensively associated with a learning community however he was teaching physics currently he is working with an academy and he is an msc in physics he is a he is a qualified man for gate bark and jest from a trading perspective he has studied lot of books on technical analysis and options he is very good in option greeks his main strategy is all about delta drifting and delta neutral he has his own unique method to identify the direction of the market intraday and positional also he has fairly achieved a fair success in the market so far well shailendra it's a great pleasure to have you on board and uh, friends today he is going to empower us with a special topic intraday bank nifty options trading via delta drifting dear shailendra you are speak you are a speaker in our forum for the first time on behalf of traders gurukul money control pro espresso and riki i extend my warm welcome into this program as a speaker go ahead my friend the stage is yours thank you ashok for for my uh, introduction hello guys uh, i hope i would be uh, audible with everybody so let's start so as uh, ashok told you uh, basically uh, i'm a physics teacher i taught uh, iit je and neet ug physics for almost two decades and uh, i started studying about the market uh, in i hope uh, 2014 from 2014 to 2018 i did my studies and in, initially i started with the what is the market uh, from that point then i um, was like uh, study about the technical analysis fundamental analysis and then uh, i like the options because uh, options uh, are the derivative products since they are the derivative products or being a person who love calculus uh, i thought this is the best thing to do because uh, i had good experience of uh, derivatives because um, calculus was one of my favorite subject so uh, in this way i dive in the, this um, option right uh, directly i hadn't started trading first i did my all research regarding the trading then i started like uh, in 2017 and 18 like uh, small one or two load then um, uh, during the covid time i reached uh, from those one to load to 20 load nowadays i am trading with i think around 100 200 lot right on uh, so the, my strategy is mainly based on like uh, i need to remain in the market and if somebody want to remain in the market then market pays the money because uh, there is some time value that we are going to discuss uh, in later on session so let's begin uh, before i start i assume that uh, you all would have some kind of experience with the options uh, you would have some idea what is the options are and uh, in the meanwhile uh, uh, after this session we will also discuss uh, about your doubts also so here my assumption is you have 
idea about option so directly jumping on the my strategy how i manage the risk how i put the trade i just want to give a brief idea about the option right so as you can see my first slide uh, this slide shows that what are the options so this is very basic like uh, in options we have two type of option put and call they are basically derivative instrument since they are the derivative instrument then there must be something behind them so that something is basically uh, like uh, if you are trading a stock then stock is the main asset on the basis of which we are going to derive the prices if you are going to trade the index then index is basically the main thing from which we are going to derive some prices so call option and put options are basically uh, they are the contract uh, that contract is basically right to buy or right to sell okay but that is not the obligation that uh, the buyer has to is obliged no buyer is not obliged right i hope uh, you would have the some idea about this so i'm not uh, going in deep of this because if i go in the deep of this then uh, uh, I cannot represent my whole uh, idea of trading. So uh, next thing, you normally common people think that uh, why do option have the prices or values? So uh, let's say somebody want want to sell his right, right. So if anybody sells his right, then right seller has to get some money and right buyer has to pay some money so the options are having the value or the premium because somebody is selling some right right so whenever you are selling your right then you will get the money and if you are buying the right of anything then you need to pay the money right for example uh, if I say that there is a property or there is a flat, whatever, right? You want to buy that flat. So somebody... Senator, one quick update. Um, by mm -hmm. if your mic is little close to your mouth, can you put it a slight, uh, keep it slightly away because there's a bit of flickering that is happening in uh, in our broadcasting live. Mm -hmm. Of course, go to webinar is fine. We just want to make sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I hope, uh, let me confirm with everybody. Uh, give me a minute, I'm just checking with everybody. What do you want to check? I just wanted to check the uh, listeners are able to listen. Uh, no, no, my no, voice that on... I will take care. You don't worry about it. I'm able okay. to check it. Okay, okay. Great, great so uh, we were discussing about this thing that uh, why the options have the premium or values so as i told you that there is a transaction of right so whenever the transaction of anything then some price is always asso remain associated with it so if somebody is selling his right then he is going to get the money and somebody if want to buy the right of anything then he need to pay the money. So that's why they have the premium. Now let's move to the next section. The next section is basically uh, option pricing. This is very interesting and every trader should have idea about it. Again, I'm going to take uh, only uh, some brief introduction of this thing that options are having two type of values. One, intrinsic value that the option is how much deep in the money an extrinsic value is basically the time value or the expiration value that how much time is associated with that particular contract always remember the atm options are have the highest time value right so these are the two type of values associated with any options uh, now to understand it in slightly deep i'm going to take you uh, to some other uh, to the option chain 
so let me take you the option chain let's see okay let's say this is uh, i hope this screen would be visible with everybody right let's say this is the bank nifty option chain right so this one is the bank nifty option chain as you can see uh, this side shows the call options this one shows the put option this gray color is basically shows that these call options are in the money call option and this one shows that these put options are in the money put options and here you can see the market spot price was 36737 so this was the value so what we did we take the 36700 is as atm so this is your atm at the money so uh, now the question is what is intrinsic value or extrinsic value suppose let's look at this this is strike price 37300 right so this 37300 put is in the money and its distance from the spot price or the atm is 100 200 300 400 500 and 600 so this 600 is basically its intrinsic value okay and the remaining is what extrinsic value so what you can see in this situation this has 81 rupees extrinsic value while as you can see for add the money the intrinsic value is almost zero right although i can say that this is 36737 although this is not perfect 37 36700 but still it as you can see the in, intrinsic value is tends to zero right so the all value is the extrinsic value that's why i said that the atm option have the maximum extrinsic value that is also known as the time value right i hope uh, you are with me at uh, this place okay so this was i was talking about uh, let's move to our next slide now this is very important thing why do option prices fluctuates in intraday basis as you can see the option prices fluctuates regularly or very abruptly so the this is very interesting thing why they are fluctuating so abruptly or so randomly that sometimes we wonder why this fluctuation is happening remember this thing the this is a derivative product derivative product means there is something behind this which is fluctuating and that fluctuation is making the changes in the price of the option so basically if you are trading the stock then stock is fluctuating that's why the option prices are fluctuating but this is very very important for every trader to understand that in black and call formula there is not only the single thing which which is responsible for the fluctuation of option prices usually what people think that only the uh, price of the stock or uh, index makes the fluctuation in the option price no basically in that formula there are greeks those greeks are delta gamma theta vega and rho see vega and rho rho is basically interest price variable so uh, what i can say this remains constant throughout uh, for many uh, month uh, until rbi come and say that interest rates are going to change because you know that the future is having the formula if you say that future price 
the price of the future uh, this is the formula s e power rt where r is the rate of interest t is the time of expiration so basically what happened uh, the future is also having the time value because see if somebody is buying any future it means uh, he is paying only 1 lakh rupees while he is getting the stock of let's say 8 lakh rupees so he is taking money from the market so he has to pay some interest of that that interest is decided by the interest rates or by the government so that's why uh, you can see that in the uh, maximum time the future is having higher value than this spot so that higher value is basically the interest and time because see uh, markets are very sufficient they uh, calculate even the penny so uh, if the, there is, there would be the difference of even a